that I have for you. We're going to talk a little bit and then we're going to open it up to uh, the audience. Um, the first question that I always had about this film, and I never asked you, so I'm going to ask it now. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to answer it, but you have to sort of pretend to answer it. Um, is Christy authoritarian? Is he a liberal? Who is Christy? Oh, this is a tough question. <laughs> um, it's, hard, it's hard to define him like that, you know. In a, of, of course, he wants to, uh, he wants uh, his feeling that something that would be could change, you know, and he wants that, but at the same time, uh, you have to adapt, I think, you know. Is the adaptation coming from within him or from without? Do you feel that he is forced to adapt, or is there something, but for, for me it's always, you have, you have a very strong relationship with soccer, with football. So for me, like every time there's any kind of foot-related <laughs> sports, in your films, it's meaningful. And the fact that the first conversation, actually, that you hear in the film is about that foot tennis. Is it translated as foot tennis in, into English? And it's about rules, and whether you can come in or not is a signal that gets lost and then gets picked up at the end. Is, is, that, is that planned, or is that something that came out from the editing of the film? No, he, no, he, need, he, needs, uh, he needs the rules and he's like, uh, he's something, I think he's a head man of, uh, he's a, has a military way of being, you know, so he, he needs rules, yeah, at one point. Do you, where, where did he come from as a character for you? Where did the idea of the film, but where did this character in particular come for you? Um, first, I, I, have a, I had a friend of mine who was a police officer at one point. He told me about a small case like that that he didn't want to solve it because of his conscience. You know? And we started to speak about that. And uh, that was one of the stories that influenced me. And um, the other one, it was uh, another story with two brothers and one, one brother uh, in a case like that, of small uh, drug uh, things. Uh, and uh, his brother betrayed the other one and wanted to go to prison. And for me it was like uh, a situation that could give birth to, to a sort of other in kind, you know, uh, story. So that these two, Stories, real stories, inspired me to, to make this one. Now you've been mining. You've been mining Ras Louis, the town that you're for, for basically every single public institution. The television and the film that you're going to see tomorrow in Infinite Football. You have the city hall. Somebody who works for the city hall. This is the police. Is there anything left in Ras Louis <laughs> that you have not mined? Uh, I didn't think like that. I, I don't know. It's like uh, each story came at a certain point point in my. I was in, maybe I'm inspired by the characters there, and uh, um, I'm uh, yeah. I didn't make. I didn't want to make. In the same time, Basloi it's because it's not named here. Uh, it's a small city in Romania, so it's a. Uh, uh, it's something from province, and it's something that, uh, yeah, it's, it tells more about, you know, that my particular town in my mind than in a certain type of uh, uh, small town, you know, a certain story in a small, uh, in a small, uh, a small town. Can you describe Vasui a little bit more for the audience who doesn't know Vasui? What, uh, what is Vasui for you? The saying is yes. like Vaslui is a small town, you know, so it's a, it's a certain type of, type of small town, you know. To describe Vaslui in, uh, it's like, uh, I think you saw it in the film, so it's, uh, it, I think it's a typical uh, small town in Romania. Is, 
is it is it what brings you back all the time most most directors want to make a name for themselves with a film and then want to go sort of bigger and you keep going back to this sort of small these like small interactions small environment that is is profoundly in each of the films i find it to be profoundly autobiographical and what what is it? Have you ever been tempted by Hollywood? Is what I'm basically asking. Have you ever been tempted to go bigger? You do genre films there. You do you do documentaries in Vaslu. You basically you, you everything that you do is somehow grounded in that, with with very few exceptions. Uh, I <laughs> yeah uh, depends. On, I don't know. I don't think it like that in terms of career. I think it more in terms of what what I want to say, you know, and uh, in that particular moment in my in my uh, in my uh, life, you know, I um, of course I have now I I will finish a film which is more like, uh, but this one also I was thinking in a way in a genre terms because uh, I was looking uh, making the documentation for the film, I realized that the police officer is more uh, his job is more it was more. Not in a, like in action films in a way, eighty percent of their job it was they were to watching and uh, uh, looking and waiting, you know. So that that film uh, and all this type of bureaucracy in which they are, and I, I was starting to ask myself how it, that really counts, you know, and uh, how this type of bureaucracy shapes a character, you know. So that was. At that time, that were my concerns after after I did a certain type of research, uh, and uh, I said, okay, you know, even the way that they are uh, writing the reports, the reports they are very strict rules, and they have to, uh, and they they in a way they shape your way of looking at things. So therefore, I consider that it was important to 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 have it in the film. So. Uh, it was more like, yeah, there were these type of reasons uh, which uh, that they come out from my subject, which they uh, 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 make me to choose a certain way of uh, of uh, shooting, you know. And there's a lot of confined spaces. There's a lot of time spent in these transitional spaces, in the corridors, on the... <laughs> Stairs is like that are they're actually shot in real time. It feels like real rather than cinematic uh, time. And there's a, there's this, this sense of extraordinary tedium that gets translated into this beautiful moment when he explains that he's actually guarding a hole in the ground <laughs> outside. Um, is is that your understanding of of cinematic time? Is that uh, your understanding of no, it's not about that. For I'm, I'm afraid to speak in general terms because for me it's more important the subject that I make, mm -hmm. and after that I'm doing and I'm trying to do it in, uh, in a certain way that particular subject. So for me, the, for this character, it was important to have to, uh, to see it in a certain type of labyrinth, you know. So uh, and also the bad language because they have some strict rules in a way they are they are watching. And they are walking, and for me there were there there was this part of the character which he tries to define in words uh, uh, his his uh, feelings, but in the same time uh, uh, the body language and the posture it was very important. So the way he's moving and the way he's he's uh, following the others, you know. So uh, for me it was half of the job in this that for. Uh, I choose to do it, do it in a long shot, you know. Most of your films have these uh, a play with, you know, the static shot versus, you know, and, and how how you actually frame something and how, how long you hold the frame ends up being a comment on the nature of, of, of cinema. Uh, and I found it fascinating here to see all those grids and all those you know, boxes, the, 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 the tremendous amounts of, of, of squares and grids and boxed in uh, feelings. Did you have to look hard for this or is this the, sort of the nature of 
the place for you? Um, it served the, the nature of the place and I think uh, uh, the space, it was shaped like that, you know, in a political way, I think. Uh, when I, sometimes I get quite, uh, when I'm doing a film in a, uh, with a police, in a police station, I think all of them are looking the same, you know. So uh, I'm getting tired. Um, can we talk a little bit about music? You don't actually use music very much in your films, and you definitely don't score your films. Um, this one, yes. In many of your films, but you this pick one, it, it's, music it's, uh, very... It's one song three times, so... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and when I use it, I uh, go into the Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> and the words do matter. And the words do matter, you care, you choose them carefully, and there's this beautiful song at the end that probably for the American, uh, for, for the non-Romanian speakers, sort of lost its charm. Um, uh, surprisingly to me, uh, the words were written by a poet who's supposed to be very, very good. Uh, but I'll regale you with a rough translation. I just wrote it down this afternoon uh, in Romanian. Um, it's, it's really outstandingly inane. Uh, I, I love world, words you should know. They are my sisters. When you, my love, do not come, I speak to the flowers. Words are my wealth. Uh, they are my palaces. Uh, with, my, with my thought and my heart, I don't think they look like anyone else. Uh, what where did you come up with that? I didn't come up, the poets come up. No, no, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, Hopefully, yes. Yeah. <laughs> what, yes. Where what did you What I was trying <laughs> to find, it was a, a song at the end with some words and uh, a link with the music, you know, but it was not the main point of my film. No, but a lot of your films have, like, these songs at the end that actually add to, to the film. And they're, they're very deliberate choices for somebody who doesn't actually use a lot of music and doesn't believe in scoring their films. You'll be surprised for my next one. Oh. <laughs> so what is the next one? It's, it's, I know, I, I can it's a about genre it. film as well? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, but more, more straight forward. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, what about this song? Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, it was a song that uh, it has something like, uh, in, in fact, it was quite, uh, it was also quite, uh, it doesn't have a, like a, yeah, the, the it wasn't heavy, it, it didn't, didn't step on the film. Yeah, and it, it was, didn't, uh, yeah. So uh, I think it was good for the, for the friends, but uh, yeah, I didn't want to give the key there. Um, I, I, I mean, to, to me, it's very, very interesting that you, you actually, I always look for the songs that you pick at the end of the film because they're always surprising and they offer mm -hmm. perhaps not a key, but definitely um, a twist on, on the film and they, they add to, 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 to your films and it, it's fascinating to see your, your process and where the hell do you find these. Uh, these songs. Uh, the one for Infinite fo Football is also picked from... How did you come up with them? YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so, one last relatively serious question about this film. Uh, because there's been much said about sort of the realism and the literalism of, of Romanian New Wave films, and certainly this can be read in that way. Uh, but there also seems to be, it's a film that's so much about the absence of signifiers or the shifting signifiers. You know, what, where is the Golden City? Which is the Little Paris? Uh, you know, what do words actually mean? Uh, are you kidding or are you serious? And what are the different meanings that one particular moment uh, can have? And it seems to me that it's actually 
a film that is much more metaphorical that, uh, than any of the other films that came out of the same generation uh, in, some, in some way. And you have that like little moment at the end was like, watch out for signals. And all you see is signals and signs. You don't see actual people. They're referred to as people. You know, the prosecutor and the whole of these, but they're like little crosses. Um, how, how did it get, how did it travel, that idea, through the film, through the making of the film, and then how did the audience, audiences receive it? Is it a literal? Is it about metaphors? Is it about the literalism of, and the tedium of the daily? Or is it about more than that? So uh, how did the audience perceive it? Yeah. I don't know it. <laughs> we have to ask the audience. So, uh, but uh, in the same time, of course, it's a, it's a, it's a movie about yeah, the, the the sense of and what is behind at the end of the of, the, of these concepts. If we have it, or we don't have it. Uh, uh, but now to speak, I don't know. in the film, I don't know, it's, I don't, I don't like to explain, you know. I know, but that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of why we're here. <laughs> that's kind of the nature of the game in Q&As. So I think we can open it up to questions from the audience. There's one over there. You're gonna you're gonna have to wait for uh, 